beer. If you thought this was a cue, you wait until the World Cup kicks off. In all the towns and all the bars, beer wars are set to wage. As June the 11th draws nearer, so too do the beer brands in the war to quench your thirst. With an expected 350,000 visitors, this means big money. Castle Lager is ready to defend its fortress. Uh, the beginning was in August last year when we launched the Superfans campaign, which was to rally the country to get behind our team and it is called Host Beer, Host Nation. And this campaign is about rallying the nation to get ready to host the world. And if their new ad is anything to go by, then the world best be ready for a heck of a reception. According to FIFA.com, Germany 2006 sold 1,056,000 litres of beer in the 12 stadia. For beer brands, market share during the World Cup is all. Budweiser is a big global player, but in South Africa, Budweiser um, is, 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 is not really focused on the South African market. I think the World Cup's a wonderful opportunity for them to get global exposure um, from a media perspective. We've got a slogan, impossible to ignore. We make sure that our brand is, brand is seen and heard, that people are passionate about it. We sponsor rugby, cricket and, and football, and those are the national sports of the country. And uh, our brands associated with that, we the national beer of South Africa. Most South Africans would agree that nothing goes down as well as a braai and a castle. But if you're shopping for something different, eccentric, with a dash of philosophy, then Steve Gilroy is your man. Beer is, beer is an oxymoron because it's a, it's a very personal thing best shared with others. <laughs> uh, if I cut down drinking, yes, we may be able to look after the tourists as well. My quality control is me drinking it. And yeah, I've always been passionate about beer. I love beer, it's an Irish thing. Some may say the glass is half full, others that it's half empty. The Irish will always ask whether you're going to drink it. Steve Gilroy knows as he's half Irish, half English. He wanted to travel the world before settling anywhere. His mistake was his first stop, South Africa, back in 1970. I made a mistake. I bought a little plot with a tin roof. The first, the first rains on a tin roof and your heart is already being held. When you walk your dog on a dirt road, and you smell the first rains on a dirt road, you are South African. You've got no choice. Gilroy is a micro brewer and produces around 10,000 litres of beer a month. It all started in a bucket in Hillbrow in Johannesburg, and now Diners Club rated his beer the best in the Southern Hemisphere. He gave us his 2010 outlook. Um, I'm going to be making more beer. We're, we're jacking up the brewery now. Um, although, as I said earlier, I'm not, expecting, um, I'm not expecting huge things from 2010. What I am expecting is huge things from the future. Steve's take on the 2010 beer brand wars is refreshing. On, on the beer side, um, what's anybody, what can 2010 do for craft beer? Or what can 2010 do for anybody? I think the advantages from 2010 are at best going to be arguable. The um, Gilroy's, Gilroy's is full capacity the whole time. We can't, we can't keep up with our demand. If 2010 is about tourism, tourism is not just for a couple of months. Tourism is, should be South Africa's future. Tourism should be South Africa's strength, not just for a few months, but for all the years to come. Steve is dismayed by the beer wars and he admires how winemakers stand together. The brewers have historically always been in a brand fight. The brewers shouldn't be in a brand fight. There's no need for it. But on the other hand... Wine is inherently fruit juice that hasn't gone off yet. But with the sale of between 20 and 30 million more beers at stake during the month-long tournament, Gilroy is wishing on an Irish star. Castle will now be selling at the FIFA fan parks after an agreement with FIFA and Budweiser. With beer sales expected to rise by up to 6% during the soccer tournament, Castle is well prepared for the demand. We believe the event's fantastic to show the world uh, our South African hospitality. Castle Lager is our flagship brand, very much part of the hospitality that we offer as a nation. And so people are going to come to South Africa, they're going to experience our local cuisine, meet local people and drink local beer. And we're going to be well positioned to, uh, you know, to show them. But remember, win or lose, 
drink your booze. Whatever you choose, in brewing, there's a philosophy to use. Remember, the brewer is just the Lord's best little helper. The Lord makes the beer, we just help him to do it.